The BBC stepped in this week to pile on the pressure for households across the UK by hiking the licence fee to almost £170 from next year. I think that's shocking. The decision came after a two-year freeze, but even at the old rate, is the BBC really value for money? Culture, Culture Secretary Lucy Fraser has put the corporation on notice and has pledged to review into how it's funded. I'm going to really come back on that one. Is it right that we, the taxpayers, should be forced into paying more for something that we may not even want? So joining me live now is author of How Do We Pay for the BBC After 2027 and former BBC producer, John Mayer. John, welcome and um, Hello, great to have you evening, on the show. So, John, as you know, I froze the licence fee when I was Culture Secretary Oops. and I am really disappointed that Lucy Fraser has unlocked that freeze. And in terms of a review, I had a review ready to go the day Boris Johnson was removed, blocked by Rishi Sunak all the way when he was Chancellor. Boris Johnson removed, blocked again by Rishi Sunak. I've been told it's been kicked into the long grass. There are many options, like Germany is a great one that I was looking at, many options out there about how we fund the BBC. What do you think about the increase in the licence fee and what do you think of the options moving forward? Nadine, let's think back to January 2022 when you were the Secretary of State. You agreed this deal. You said that the licence fee would be frozen and then for the next two years after that, it would go, go up in, in line with the rate of inflation. So it's your I, deal you're So, criticizing. John, John, I have to come back, write a reply. I did, but I had no idea there's going to be a war in Ukraine and that energy right. and oil and wheat prices would go sky high and that inflation, global interest rates and therefore as a result inflation, would go to the levels that they did. If I'd had a crystal ball and had known that, I wouldn't have put that in. Which Lucy Fraser agreed to this week. Yeah. Now, okay, let's establish that from the beginning. I mean, I, I, I'm I, not sure the licence fee is the best solution. But look, I mean, I did an hour's research this, this morning. Let me um, let me share something with you. Uh, I, I can't share it. The, I did an hour's research on what the streamers cost. It, it only takes an hour on Google. Shall I help you with some figures on that one? The, the new licence fee is £14.17 a month. Sky, the average sub is £26 a month. BT Sport is £28 a month. Uh, Apple is eight, nine pounds a month. Netflix is between seven and eighteen pounds a month. Amazon Prime is six pounds a month. Disney Plus is seven ninety nine, ten ninety nine. So if you had all the streamers, you'd be paying ninety four pounds a month. That's what you'd be paying for the streamers instead of the BBC. So the BBC seems to me to be bloody good value for four TV channels, you know, lots of radio stations online, the best online in the John, world. John, and nobody, so, so. nobody disputes the the quality of some of the content that comes out of the BBC, but the issue is that it is this huge, huge conglomerate. Now it's a massive corporation which is which is eaten up, you know, into local local radio, local press. It just keeps on the march and getting bigger and bigger, and. And, you know, you talked about those streamers. I mean, you know, whether you've got an Amazon Prime account, you get Amazon anyway. So that's a slightly a difficult <clears> one to present. But that, it's a matter of choice. It's up to those people whether or not they, they pay for those streamers. What I think what the BBC licence fee is, is a regressive tax. So if you're a single mother living in a council house, you pay the same as the billionaire living in a mansion. And... 76% of all the prosecutions for non-payment of the licence fee are women. It is a regressive, and, and, and unfair tax. Nadine, I don't disagree with you, and I did economics at university. Let, let, let me ask you a little question. How many people were sent to jail in, 19, in, in 2020 and 2021 for not paying the licence fee? How many people? None, I don't think. But that was, that's not the case. Zero. That's not the case. They still get prosecuted and go through the court process and they still get fined. They, they do, and 76% of those people are women. And if you don't pay your car tax, what happens to you then? If you don't pay your council John, tax, that's, what that's happens a fallacious to you argument. Well, we have to keep to the point here, which is the BBC licence fee, which is continuing <laughs> to rise at a rate. It's a regressive tax. It's continuing it's, it's, to it's, rise it's, at a rate. BBC Studios, BBC, its commercial arm, has done. It's, I mean, they are trying, but they could be a yes. lot more productive in the revenue that they raise to compete commercially with other streaming giants. Look at what Netflix earned in a year to, to what the BBC have. They were established. They have all those studios. Yeah. They have so, all those people. 
already. So hang on, hang, where, 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 where's the news on Netflix, um, Nadine? Is there any news on Netflix? John, is there, is there I any news? On... I don't pay for uh, Netflix to watch the news. And do you know something else? Ah. Neither do, do, is it is it one in four under thirty year olds actually watch the BBC or go on yes. to terrestrial channels. We live in a digital age. People don't go to channels uh, uh, one, two, three, or four anymore. The BBC, the BBC is, is becoming a dinosaur. They really no, need I to step up. Look at, look at their own figures, uh, Nadine. 99% of the population uses one BBC service every week. 99%. Look, look at these figures. Half a million people last year stopped paying the licence fee. It was the I same know, the I, year I, before. I know. So we have to we have to think that the the fourteenth culture secretary after Lucy Fraser you you were only the eleventh or twelfth we'll have to find a, a creative way to de deal with the license fee you know that that's a great question what do you what do you do you, do you want my suggestion for that yeah yeah I'd love to know what your suggestions uh, are how I, do you I, think I would you have can a find... I would have a basic license fee of hundred quid which everybody pays regardless and you get you get one one shot at everything that's on the BBC one shot. If you want to see see it a second time, if you want to see sport and top drama, you have to go via the iPlayer to subscription. So you have a hybrid system. That sounds very complicated. And why should a single mother living in a council house pay the same as you living in your house? Why? Oh my, well, you know, that that's a government decision. Is you know why well, why isn't there a subsidy for single mothers? You know, it's over seventy five year olds. If you, I discovered in my, in my research today that actually, if you live in in a care home. You only pay seven pounds fifty for license fee. I didn't know that before you today. Pay Did you know that? You shouldn't pay anything well, if you live well, in a care you home. You only pay seven pounds fifty, and a lot of people over seventy-five don't pay a license fee. Look, you know, it's a service. People got to pay for it. You know, the, 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 people got to pay for the road. People, people pay for. But the, this is a national broadcaster. Do you so not? John, do you I'm... want a national? So I've got to come to the end now. I agree. So I just want to let you know. I think the BBC is amazing. I think it's a global Good. beacon for broadcasting, but they have to get this right and they cannot continue to ask people to stump up. They wanted people to stump up a home and £273, that single mother living in a council house. They cannot continue to keep ramping up the licence fee. They need to look internally at what they're doing internally. £13 million for Newsnight. Who knew that? Sorry, John, we've got to go. Thank you so oh, oh, much. Nadine, anyway, thank you for the deal. Bye-bye now. Thanks, bye.